Hi there, I'm Shane Spears and welcome to another edition of the Summit Interviews, beaming out to you from the beautiful city of Bath in the UK. My guest today is Leon Street. Leon, a very warm welcome. Great to have you on our show. Thank you very much. A pleasure to be here. For those of you that don't know him, Leon helps coaches create six to seven figure marketing campaigns and speaks around the world on this topic. So we've got a, a title of our interview today is how to generate more leads from your marketing campaigns. And we've got five minutes for the, for the interview. If you're ready, Leon, I'll start the clock. Go. So how can coaches and business owners generate more leads? Okay, the first thing which is going to sound a bit weird for a lot of people because they want to get stuck into generating more leads is you've got to clearly understand who your target audience is and get your message right. Because a lot of people want to generate leads, but they haven't really dialed in the message of what they're going to put in front of their niche, i.e. the market. And so the best possible way is to find a niche, a group of people who have a specific problem that either your products or your services solve for them in the best and most persuasive way in terms of getting that out to people in your message. That's the key. Right. Yeah. And then once you've got that in place, then you can start to look at, well, what channels are we going to use to you know, attract more people? And is it going to be Google? Is it going to be Facebook? Is it going to be LinkedIn? That's the key, because a lot of people will put their marketing campaigns together and just not have a clue of actually what are we putting in front of the market? Is it going to make sense to them and, and get them to actually want to, you know, take action and, you know, use our services? And, and how, do, how do you suggest people nail that down? How do they nail down who they're? Sure. So right. the first thing is understand the niche. So understand what are the specific attributes of your niche, age, gender, location, type of uh, business, uh, size of business. So their income, their turnover, what income level does the key decision maker of who you attract in, who will become your client, you know, what level of income are they at? What problems are they experiencing? What passions, what fears you know, are they experiencing, that's where you start to know who you're going after. And most people just leave it as, I go after any type of business. Mm. And that's where they go wrong. So it's, you know, a generalist compared to a specialist, and a specialist is always going to win. Right. Right. And what's the difference between marketing strategy and marketing tactics? Great question. So strategy is everything about knowing who your customers are in terms of the research. So really getting to know your co your, your competition, know your target audience, um, knowing what the goals are. So you've done everything possible to really get to grips with knowing who that audience is. So that's the strategy because the strategy is like, right, we clearly know who the market is. We know what the message is and we know what the media is. So we're going to get the message to market match on the right media. Then you're going to put it into a plan. And the plan of action is when we're going to do things, how we're going to do things, and, and you know, what time scale, what budget. And the things that you actually do to get your message in front of people are the tactics. So when you actually run a campaign on Facebook ads or you run a campaign on Google ads, they're tactics. They're the things that are getting you in front of the eyeball, so to speak. So those are the tactics. The strategy is more about let's give it the more meaningful thought about how we're going to do this. Right. Mm-hmm. And why do you see marketing as every business owner's duty? It's a good question. So in business, we, we solve a problem for our audience through our products and services. And the, the problem that we solve, most people are pulling their hair out. And you can see I've pulled all my hair out right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so most people are stuck. And so the only way they can become unstuck is through your products and services. And if they don't have your products and services, they remain stuck. Now, how could anybody with any type of integrity not provide their products and services to people who are stuck? Yeah. And the reason why I believe marketing is our duty is because too many people play small and think and worry about what if this doesn't work out, what if that doesn't work out, rather than the very essence of let's just go and help some people by selling our products, by marketing our products and giving them the best and the highest possible support when they're a client. Right. And what's, um, what are some of you talk about some of these mediums and, and are getting out there, some of these tactics? What's working in the market today? Is it okay. different for different audiences? Sure. Yeah. For the B2B market, LinkedIn is working right now. I've got a guide here that I actually you know have for my clients to download and anybody actually. It's free download, freely um, available to download. So LinkedIn works really well if you're in the B2B space. If you're in the B2C space, go onto Facebook and run some campaigns there. Um, I've had some great successes recently with LinkedIn that have resulted in 
opportunities and business um, that I've got closed for over 300,000 right now, just off the back of LinkedIn in the past three months. And so for me, it's, it's about getting your message dialed in. Yeah. And most people think it's our oh, jump on, connect with lots of people, spam them, pitch them. And it's not. Mm. It's about knowing how to build up a relationship, rapport, and truly know that that person sits within your niche and they're looking for help with that specific problem that you know you can fix. And then getting them to the point where they realize, they self-identify and say, hey, how about we jump on a call to talk about this more? And you're like, of course, because yeah. we already knew. <laughs> yeah. Leon, brilliant stuff. Uh, sadly, we've just come to the end of our time. Folks, for more resources, check out uh, Leon's website, and in particular, www.businessownerrevelation.com and yeah. gorilla slash gorilla. And uh, he's got a, a great guide there for uh, yes, I do. for help. So, Leon, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Thank you. It's the shortest interview I've probably done yet, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that five minutes goes real quick. Thanks for checking out our Summit Scale podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes and subscribe, rate us and leave a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to learn more about the work we do or are looking for a load of free resources to help with scaling your business, check out our website, www.summitleader.com.